now more than ever, we ought to be finding ways we could actually come and together. Sir, I, we're going to get to And this kind of, of this kind of action by the Department of Justice, I think, would only fuel uh, further division in the country. And let me also say, I think it would also send a terrible message to the wider world. I mean, we're the... We're the emblem of democracy. We're the symbol of justice in the world. And the, the, the serious matter, which has already happened once in New York, of indicting a former president of the United States sends a terrible message to the world. I hope the DOJ thinks better of it and resolves these issues without an indictment. Sir, I just want to clarify what you're saying is that if they believe he committed a crime, they should not go forward with an indictment. Do you just talk before about no, look, committing to the rule of law? Let me be clear that no one's above the law. Okay. <laughs> Except <laughs> in this case, if they think he broke the law, they shouldn't do anything about it because it would, let, let me just say this, it would send a bad signal to the world. Yeah, that would be a really bad signal telling the entire world that we have laws and we respect them and that everyone, no matter how rich, no matter how formerly president they are, uh, if they violate them, they will face the consequences. That would be a bad. No, he's he's saying to the audience, I don't think anyone should be above the law, except Trump. In this case, he should be above the law. The law doesn't matter. What do you think? I mean, yeah, no, I agree. I don't even understand what the bad message he's saying it would send to the rest of the world is even supposed to be. Like, I don't even know what he's trying to say the rest of the world would interpret that as being because it's so clearly the opposite. It's like if we not indicting him when there's so much evidence of him having committed a crime, that's what would send the you know the type of message that would um, mm -hmm. terrify the rest of the world as to what's going on in this country. Actually indicting him, if anything, would encourage the rest of the world because they're constantly watching us where Trump is concerned and thinking, oh God, what's gonna happen next? And you know, I think they would find it reassuring if we actually tried to take some measures toward accountability. So that yeah. seems obvious to me. I don't know what he's even trying to imply in the opposite direction. <laughs> so well, uh, whatever it is, it's vague. Yeah, it is vague. You know what sends a bad signal to the rest of the world? Uh, trying to overthrow the government, trying to reverse the results of the election in Georgia, uh, trying to bribe a foreign power to meddle in an election. Uh, committing crimes to cover up the hush money payments that you made in relation to an affair of yours. Uh, stealing hundreds of classified documents and then when the government wants to come and get them, you hide them somewhere else. These are the sorts of things that in theory send negative signals to the rest of the world. Yeah, Not what, the consequences for those. What's funny about what you were just doing is that it like if given enough time to put a list together, or whatever you could have sat there <laughs> doing that with that with that cadence and pacing for at least the whole rest of this episode, I think, <laughs> and probably for like a couple of hours, like into the afternoon, I mm -hmm. think you're just like you know, and this thing, and also this thing, and then because oh, like because right. there's so much stuff that we forget that he's done. Do you know what I mean? Like you get reminded of all the now. things he's done. It's like, I forgot about that. The type of thing that if it was any other president would have been like the defining scandal of their career yeah. is a footnote on a footnote for Donald Trump. And like, and yet he's probably about to be the nominee again. It's it's Definitely. pretty wild. It's pretty wild. I, I, I wanna do that now. <laughs> that yeah. does sound like a lot of fun. <laughs>